Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We've got the Mizuno MP53 hitting up against the Mizuno MP59. So two forged, decent player clubs. 53 offering a little bit more help than the 59, arguably. Let's give these two clubs a hit and show you exactly what they might do to your golf launch, angles, distance, those kind of things. Let's get stuck in. So here we go, 59 MP from Mizuno hitting up against the 53. Um, both of these are forged looking, uh, forged performing clubs. Both very similar, slightly thicker bottom line on the 53 because it's got this cavity in it where the 59 hasn't. But it has got the beveled out back of the sole for the 53 which allows for probably the same amount of turf drag that you'll get on both clubs. So they're still aiming at a better player. Top lines on these two clubs are very, very similar. So when it comes to looking down from this point, not much going on differently. Club face is very similar. 53 has the cavity, the big cavity at the back that helps you get that little bit more launch in your long irons. It's a progressive cavity, so as you come down to your short irons, that disappears to give you the ultimate feel, if you like. Let's give these two a hit and show you exactly how they come off the blade. So 59 to start. So again, I use, anyone who watches my videos will know, I use the 53. So um, I have actually chosen that club over the 59. Looking down at this end, the 59 looks almost identical. It's got a little bit less offset in the he neck here than the 53. Again, just to keep that ball a bit lower. But top lines on this club, I mean, it's so marginal, the difference between them. When you look down from this angle, it's when you get down here, it's actually different. So 59, this has the titanium insert. Let's give it a hit just to give you guys an idea of what it feels like. Feels good. Feels solid. It makes a different noise to the 53s. I think out of the two, when we compare it, this one feels not quite as soft to me with that titanium insert. It makes a different noise and it's not one that I'm relating much to it feeling softer. It feels a bit more clippy off the face. Let's give it another hit. See, to me, that feels more like what a tightness feels like. It feels that little bit louder, a bit stronger off the face. But I'm not saying that's not good, that it feels fine. It's just not quite what I'm used to. I prefer the sound of the 53s, which again is another thing, reason why I went for them. Let's give it another hit. That's feel good though. I mean, it gives a slightly lower flight than the 53s, which is exactly what you'd be going for this club for if you want to keep the ball low. You know, if you're giving it a good strong hit, sending everything up in the air comfortably or even too high, the 59 would be something that you'd need to hit to see if it gives you a better launch angle. It's a very solid, good looking iron, that one, the MP59. So let's compare it up then to the 53. So again, looking down there, the little bit of offset is the only thing that really differs when you look down from here. But obviously I know there's that cavity there at the back, which hopefully is gonna push that ball up a little higher. Let's give it a hit. It absolutely does. It feels for me, this is a true launch plus a few extra degrees, which is exactly what I want. It's giving you that little bit of help. When I take this up to a three iron, four iron, five iron, I like that cavity being there. I like that extra bit of launch just to give me that consistent distance throughout my set. I feel with the 59s, when I get to about my six iron, if I go beyond that, I'm gonna lose a bit of distance because I'm not quite getting the launch I want. So I'm not getting the natural progression in each club for distance. Let's give the 53 another hit. Yeah, I mean, I like this club, I use it, it feels soft. It definitely feels a fraction softer to me than the 59. And that's literally the sound it makes. I think the 59 with that titanium insert in it just makes a bit more of a clip, where this is a duller sound, which I like a truer sound, if you like. Feels nice. Look, both of these clubs aimed at better players. 53, I think, covers a wider handicap spectrum. You know, I've got 20 handicappers who can use the 53 because they can strike the ball. They're 20 handicap for different reasons. 59, you have to be hitting the ball pretty good to be enjoying the benefits of this club. So it's certainly aimed at arguably the lower handicapper, but both good clubs. Let me know what you think. Hope that helps, guys, making you make the right decisions. Let me know. Post comments down below. I'd love to hear what you've got to say, as always. And thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.